Excellency. Professor Faustin Ashange Tuadera, President of the Central African Republic, Excellence Rola Don Baba, President of the National Assembly, Excellence Prime Minister Ferme Ngrebada, Honorable Ministers. Mayor Emir Gross Lemon Nakombo, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I wish to thank my brother, friend, uh, President Tuadera, for his gracious toast and for the invitation for this state visit. I'm also greatly honored by the award of the Grand Croix de la Reconnaissance. I sincerely thank the President and the government of this, for this distinction. I'm also grateful to the mayor for the key of the city of Bangui, and I'm very happy to be known as an honorary resident of this city. <laughs> this occasion marks a new chapter in the bilateral relationship between Rwanda and the Central African Republic. Today we signed a number of important agreements which put our joint endeavors on a solid footing. And this is just the beginning. These agreements should be diligently implemented so we can build on them to achieve even more together in the years ahead. Mr. President, I also wish to thank the people of Bangui for the warm, very warm welcome that my delegation and I have received. The mindset of hospitality and openness that was felt so strongly today, very strongly, is a, a precious asset. Both our countries have endured difficult histories. There is no doubt about that. However, no nation is forever hostage to its past. There is always a choice that can be made collectively to build a future in which every citizen has a sense of dignity and belonging. For Rwanda, the key factor in our peace building process was a firm commitment to national unity. We endeavor to find the solutions to our problems through dialogue and consensus. Politics should bring people together to promote the well-being of everyone, not create divisions. In Rwanda, we still have much work to do to get our country where we want it to be. National transformation is a long-term process. You just have to stay together and stick with it. We believe deeply in the effectiveness of intra-African cooperation. The ideas and resources we need can be found right here on our continent. 
Rwandans were supported on our journey by our brothers and Africans uh, and sisters in Africa and beyond. It is therefore an honor for our country to be able to share whatever we have and experiences <laughs> wherever that is useful. We also seek to learn from the efforts of others, including the Central African Republic. In a small but significant way, this kind of practical cooperation gives meaning to the tragedy we went through. Rwanda stands ready to continue accompanying the people of the Central African Republic as you move forward. I close by commending the President and the people of the Central African Republic for the steps taken thus far toward peace and reconciliation. Africa has a stake in the success of this important country in the very heart of our continent. I therefore ask that you stay the course and meet the important milestones on the road ahead. Mr. President, may I now ask that you join me in a toast to the health of His Excellency the President and to the prosperity of the peoples of our two countries and our continent. Thank you very much. <laughs>